Welcome to the penultimate episode of the CVU show of this year's first semester. In 1882, Edward H. Johnson, Thomas Edison's friend and partner, put together the very first string of electric lights meant for a Christmas tree. He hand-wired 80 red, white, and blue light bulbs and wound them around his Christmas tree. Not only was the tree illuminated with electricity, but it also revolved? So, CVU has some very real goats on campus, and I'm not just talking about members of our sports ball teams, but I gotta ask, what's the purpose of CVU's goats? Well, as it just so happens, CVU's journalism class decided to look into that. Let's check out their footage. We started by asking around the school for answers. After getting some unclear answers, we decided to go straight to the source. <laughs> After hours of tireless reporting, we found the prime suspect. Now that we know the goats are in good hands, Dave had a final message for any students wanting to visit. Again, don't feed the goats pencils, you'll get in trouble. Let's talk about Spirit Week. Monday was a pajama day, which is pretty standard. Tuesday was an epic showcase of tropical versus ski gear surfing the slopes. And after everyone got back down to ground level, we all wore red on Wednesday's red out. Finally, we ended the week off with a silly sweater day on Thursday. And it just so happened that silly sweater day coincided with the student council's very own silly sweater competition, where the top five contestants' entry photos were shown off and voted on by the student body, with the top three earning some very cool prizes. Congrats to the free prize winners. Do try not to break the prizes, please. I don't know if CVU will refund the broken prize or not. Speaking of which, let's hand it over to Matthew for 2022's final sports segment. I'm your host, Matthew, and welcome to this week's edition of CVU Sports. Varsity Hockey will take to the ice once again as the boys play St. Johnsbury on the road at 6 p.m. on this upcoming Wednesday. The girls will play against U32 on Wednesday at 4.15 p.m. Girls Varsity Basketball will play on the road against Brattleboro on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Boys Varsity Basketball will be on the road against Mount Mansfield on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Boys Varsity Wrestling's Hubby Wagner Holiday Tournament is on Wednesday at 12 p.m. at Middlebury High School. Let me hand it over to our special guest correspondent Frankie to wrap up this year's World Cup. Hi, I'm Frankie and welcome back to your World Cup Report. And welcome to your World Cup wrap-up, because the World Cup is now over. The World Cup has ended and Argentina has been crowned the winner, narrowly beating France in a thrilling game. Argentina took an early 2-0 lead, but France managed to score two incredible comeback goals, and it went to extra time, where they both scored another goal, and then it went to a penalty shootout, where France just barely lost it to Argentina. 
Argentina has just won their third ever World Cup and their first World Cup in 36 years since 1986. France narrowly missed out on winning their second World Cup in a row, which would have made them the second ever team to accomplish the feat. This World Cup has been an interesting World Cup and one of many, many firsts. It's the first World Cup to be held entirely in the Arab world. It's the first time that an African nation has ever made it to the semi-finals of the World Cup. And it's the first time that no English fans have been arrested at the World Cup. Another thing that makes this World Cup special is that it's in the middle of club season. In just two short weeks, all these players who have been fighting out for their countries will go back to their normal clubs and play for their normal teams. Harry Kane will get to reminisce with Hugo Release about that mixed, uh, missed penalty kick, and Kylian Mbappe will have to confront Lionel Messi, having just lost the World Cup to him. Speaking of Kylian Mbappe, he has won the Golden Boot, uh, beating out Messi with one goal in the aforementioned France-Argentina game. And as for Messi, I think the debate is settled and he has to be considered the greatest footballer in the world. Ronaldo didn't win the World Cup after all. So all we can say is that we hope the next World Cup is going to be just as good as this one was, although hopefully with less of FIFA's rampant, rampant corruption. World Cup 2026 is held in the USA, Canada and Mexico, and who knows, maybe some of you will get to see some of the games. Maybe the USA will win. Maybe England will win. You never know. And as for the Euro, football's coming home, go three Lions! That's all from me, thank you for watching, and back to you in the studio. Thank you, Frankie, for another great World Cup presentation. And that will do it for this week's edition of CVU Sports. Back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Matthew. This week we asked CVU what your favorite thing about the holidays are, and here is what you had to say. I would really say that my favorite thing about the holidays is just spending time with family and some time off school. It's really nice. Probably the food. I really like all of the holiday food. Uh, getting to see my family, like grandparents and cousins, stuff like that. My favorite thing about the holidays is probably spending time with family and working on the CBU show. I like spending time with my friends and family. I definitely enjoy the break where I get to hang out with, some, with my friends a lot. <laughs> probably like the decorations because it's so like pretty and stuff. Um, probably just like having a break from school. My favorite thing about the holidays is definitely seeing like, um, like going to bed like on like Christmas Eve and like like uh, uh, just going to bed looking forward to Santa Claus coming down my chimney and then he comes down with a, like a boatload of presents and then every single morning I'm like super super stoked I'm like oh my God mom there's a bunch of presents Santa Claus came last night I was a good boy this year and then I'm like yippee and then I just start like jumping around having fun and normally like I eat breakfast and then I like, open my stocking open some presents have a good time it's a lot of fun that's why I love the holidays you heard? Thank you to everyone who participated in this week's question. My favorite thing about the holidays is probably spending time with friends and family. How about you, Nick? Yeah, that's basically the same as me. I like spending time with my friends and family a lot. Cool. If you would like to have your question answered by CVU, email c us at cvushow at cvsdbt.org. And that's all the news for this week. My name is Nick. And my name is Henry. And we've been your hosts for this week's show. Have a great break, CVU. We'll see you in 2023 with our final show. Welkom bij Koffie Praat met Olaf en Rianne. Uh, wij gaan het vandaag hebben over hoe wij Sinterklaas hebben gevierd hier in Amerika. Ja, de so, uh, meeste mensen vieren Sinterklaas niet hier in Amerika. Maar uh, ik heb hier opgegroeid, maar mijn ouders zijn Nederlanders. So we hebben altijd Sinterklaas gevierd. En uh, als ik een kind was, hebben we altijd onze klompje uitgezet. En uh, met hooi of een uh, wortel. En uh, we hebben altijd een chocolade letter uh, erin. En uh, meestal tai tai en tai tai pop. Ik vind tai tai pops lekker. Niet mijn favoriet, maar het is wel, begint meer op wat te groeien. Ja. 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 Ik heb dit jaar Sinterklaas gevierd met mijn gastfamilie, wat wel schattig was, aangezien hun, 
en ken het natuurlijk niet. Dus ik heb aan hen uitgelegd wat het nou eigenlijk allemaal was. Ik weet niet hoe, maar ze zijn ook nog aan redelijk wat kruidnoten en um, pepernoten en allemaal dat soort dingen gekomen. En wij zijn, mijn ouders hadden ook nog een doos met wat spullen opgestuurd, dus dat was ook nog wel schattig. En uh, wij zijn dus, we hebben een pakjesavond gevierd met mijn gastmoeder had ook nog wat gedichtjes geschreven. Iedereen had een paar cadeautjes, dus dat was wel erg gezellig. Dat is een leuke verrassing ook, hè? Ja, dat is ja. erg gezellig. Echt gezellig. Gezellig. Ja. <laughs> Ik denk dat dat het toch wel een beetje is. Ja. Uh, yeah. Dat was Koffie Praat met Olaf en Rianne. En tot ooit, of toch niet, we zien wel. Doei doei.